I get a lot of questions about what loopback is and how to use it. And although I touched on this in my Focusrite control tutorials, I wanted to give you one guide where I explained how to use loopback to control your hardware inputs and all of your application audio for recording, streaming, voice chat, and just about anything else. This is my Focusrite Control Loopback Ultimate Guide. One of the easiest ways to understand loopback is to think of it as a stereo microphone that can gather all of the audio from your hardware inputs on your interface and each individual application on your computer. You use Focusrite Control to bring those together and control the levels of each one so we can determine what the final mix is going to look like with all of it being sent to two channels as an input back into your computer. Now, there are a lot of great applications for loopback. Maybe you're a streamer and you want to send out a separate mix for your viewers that has different music, chat, or game audio. Maybe you've got a band and you want to do a live performance, or maybe it's an audition over an application like Zoom that only accepts one microphone, but you need other microphones and audio sources. Maybe it's a podcast. In any case, using loopback is gonna open up a lot of possibilities for controlling audio on your computer. So to get started, the first thing we wanna do is make sure that every available channel, both input and output, is available to our operating system. So in this case, Windows. When you click on the Focusrite control icon, you'll see an option that says expose hide Windows channels. In this case, again, Windows. So I'm gonna go into that. And here I have options. I'm using a Scarlett 18 i 20 so I can enable all of the inputs and all of the outputs here. By default, you usually see input analog one and two and then speakers. But go ahead and enable everything, get that done, click OK. Once that's done, we'll go into Focusrite Control and scroll down to the bottom where we get to the actual loopback. Now, by default, you'll likely see something like this where it has software playback one and two going into loopback one and two. So all this is going to do is take all the audio from your computer and send it back as a virtual microphone into your computer. And that can be useful, you know, if you have an application where you want to bring in, for example, I'll just pull over a Zoom here as an example for you. If we bring in this where we have an app that only accepts one microphone, I can set that to loop back instead of my other, uh, you know, my other mic. And once that's done, everything that I mix in Focusrite Control will go in there. So I have that going back. Of course, right now I'm not mixing anything. I just have computer audio. But the power is when we can change this. So we have options. We have the various channels that we've enabled as well as extra DAW channels that will be available because of our interface. They can all be directly sent back in. We can do the same thing with hardware. If I choose hardware, I could decide, you know, all I ever want to do is have my analog inputs three and four going back in as a virtual microphone into uh, the computer. And again, this could be useful if, you know, I had a mic on input three and, and I had a, a keyboard or something connected up to input number four, uh, you know, or I had, some, uh, you know, a stereo pair or something I wanted to send back as a microphone. Again, loopback is like a virtual microphone. And then if we go into to custom mix, that's where the real power becomes. Because in this case, I can mix a variety of hardware inputs and software inputs and send them all back in as loopback, again, as a virtual microphone. So no matter what I put here, I can mix them all back into an application like Zoom or for streaming web-based, any kind of web-based platform where we can input a microphone. So like StreamYard, anything like that allows us to get a full mix of audio happening and going back in as a microphone where we only have two channels of input on our computer. So I've created a fairly standard setup here. I have a game, in this case, it's just a Heaven benchmark running. And I also have music here in the VLC video player. And so what we need to do is get these on separate channels so we can actually control them, but then bring them back in through our virtual loopback input. So first thing I'm gonna do is bring over the Windows sound panel and we'll go ahead and scroll down to the bottom where it says advanced sound options. I'll bring up the app volume and device preferences and I'm going to go ahead and leave the game on, on the original settings on number one and two, essentially the defaults. But under the media player, I'm going to go ahead and change that. I'm going to throw it on playback five and six. Okay, so now we have these separated out on two different channels. So if I pull this out of the way, and now I go ahead and bring in Focusrite Control, I have essentially have my mic as well as all of my desktop or computer audio going back in through the loopback. 
But of course, this is going to give me my microphone and it gives me the game. I still need VLC Media Player. So to do that, I just need to go into the DAR software playback here. And remembering that I use inputs five and six, I'll go ahead and bring them in. I'll even label this here. I'll label it VLC. Put VLC Music. Good enough. And then when I go into VLC, if I click play, you'll see right away that I have that music coming through. So it's coming into the mixer and it's going back out the loop back. And I could add in the music from the game as well. And now we're going to have that playing through. So I've got a mix. I can adjust the levels. I can get whatever I need here. But the idea is, is that I now have this available as one input on the computer, even though it's three separate devices. So if I had an application, in this case, I'll just bring Zoom up here that only accepts one microphone input. I could switch this over to loopback. And now I'll just move it to the side again so we can see everything here a little bit better. If I turn on these sources, first we'll turn the game on. We have audio coming through here. If I go ahead and turn VLC on, Again, you're going to see audio coming through here. And of course, if I turn both of those off, my microphone is already coming through as well. Now I can take this one step further. I'm going to go ahead and bring Discord in. And of course, many of you are going to use Discord as well as music and your game. And the same applies. All I need to do is bring my Windows control panel over. And I'm going to find Discord. And now I'll assign Discord to 7 and 8. So the beauty of this is now I have the game on 1 and 2. I have the music on five and six. I have Discord on seven and eight. I have the microphone coming in. All I need to do now is go into Focusrite Control and add up that input for Discord. So in this case, it was seven and eight. I'll label that. And now we have Discord happening. So again, the same kind of setup, very much like we'd have for a normal stream. Once again, everything going back into the computer is loopback. So again, I have Focusrite Control here with loopback and the microphone and the regular monitor inputs from the computer. So again, this is the desktop audio. But all I need to do is go into hardware here and add up some other inputs. So if I do this, I can now bring my guitar in. So it's just going to be me with my guitar. I can do that and go ahead and add another guitar, a bass. Maybe we'll go ahead and throw some keyboards in, stereo mics on drums. And next thing you know, we have an entire band coming through here, as well as the output from the computer. And of course, again, I could add in the other outputs. I could go back here and I could add in music or whatever else I want. Once I have that, all of these are being sent back to the computer via the loopback input. It's a virtual input. And I can mix them and do what I need or set all my levels. And then finally, go ahead and bring the application back. Just go ahead and throw it into loopback. And now I have all my instruments, my entire band, my microphones, everything coming here into Zoom but this could just as easily be a streaming application. You could put on a live concert with this. And if you prefer to be working with a DAW, you can always set the master outputs to nine and 10, like I've done here on Studio One, and then just add those up in the loop back. Or if you prefer, you could set up the individual tracks to be looped to individual inputs here, all to go out through loop back. So a lot of choices here if DAW is your preferred workflow. So when you think of loop back, Think of it as being a virtual microphone that can record and send audio back into your computer of all your hardware inputs, as well as all your individual applications on the computer. So it gives you that ultimate control of the mixer and Focusrite control, sending a mix down to two channels that can be used for recording, live streaming, or any other application you can think of. Now, Loopback is gonna open up a lot of opportunities to craft your sound for recordings, live performances, and streams. But of course, you can also level things up by using outboard gear and even bringing them in to your DAWS plugins.